Alright. Players are uh, getting into it now, so we're starting a little early here, and Mike off with an early 6S right now, trying to stop uh, you know, the early pressure from Luke, but Luke gaining control in this full screen situation and forcing Mike to dash block their way in and finally fighting that open. Alright, good bird. Yeah, I mean, trapped in a corner like this against Mike Safdig, like, what is what are you supposed to do here is Happy Chaos? You have no reversals, you have to block, you have no bullets either, which is a huge problem here. Has to spend the Deus Ex just for the reload. And honestly, but I think you're, you're not only spending it for the reload, you're spending it for that screen control. Because now you're forcing Mike to have to re-dash block in, you have to force him to strike again and again just like that. So it definitely is like a very a sensible decision to try to burn that meter there, and it's going to be working out for you as well as you find that 2 s Oh, and catches the back dash with the gunshot there. Had just enough left in the tank to close out the round. Good stuff. All right, Luke, with another far splash. DP immediately, Mike Zapdick does not want any type of pressure, does not want Luke to get any sort of momentum, wants to end this in one set. Yeah, I mean, that's what he's trying to find right now, but unfortunately, Luke's going to be putting up a very, very dangerous fight, but you can't put up a fight against that 6 8 at that range. Get yeah, alone up for it. Mike take the big, uh, 55%. Yep, that's going to be a lot. Uh, uh. And not quite, yeah. not quite in the red yet, but it is one hit away from dying here. Blocks the 50 50, good stuff. Six eight just seems yeah. to be the answer for Mike Zapdig in a lot of these tough situations. You got that 50 meters, throw it out, see if you can check a good button. Yeah, I mean, it's a quick tool, and you see with how much Luke is wanting to press things uh, like uh, 5H and like Far uh, Far S to try to stop Mike from presenting before they can get that, that gun out. And the 6 8 or the, the 6 8 from Soul is very, very good from uh, stopping that. Gun out. Dangerous spot to be in your cursed up, you're, real, uh, you're installed up, you're now having to hold all this mix, hits him with the toad school, and it goes into that day to so knock, you know, one last time. But no, I, I didn't kill those two bullets on up either. Just the, oh, you're steady aiming. You have to shoot it like right now. Oh, the clone cancel. Oh. Yeah. They don't want us to have any fun here on commentary, I swear to God. <laughs> He wants to have any fun. <laughs> no, no, no fun. But Luke had great recognition to be able to switch over into that um, uh, to get that clone yeah. cancel out right at the get go. Being like, oh crap, this is happening. I gotta stop it because you saw, yeah, guns coming out. But nope, whoops, see ya. Yeah, and then gold bursting as well to have that fifty meter to be able to gain the extra mix where you can, but mm -hmm. didn't end up working out. Yeah, just said bye bye. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'd rather not. Uh, but yeah, right. good stuff over there from uh, Luke taking that first game, trying to you know make this one go the distance again. Needs to get that reset to try to take the first place for tonight. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, we'll have to see if uh, we'll have to see if Luke can keep that momentum up, or Mike can make those adjustments to to be Demon Safety. Yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough for both sides. I think. I think I think Mike is already not playing with most momentum right now. Luke is playing a little bit better, but Luke also has to win six games against Mike Safdig, who is some who is a player who is incredibly good at wearing down. Oh yeah, so, most most definitely. So, so we'll see how how long. It, it, it's really it's really all about if Luke can stay solid for six games. Yeah, I, I do like from uh, from Mike right there going for those little shimmies, trying to bait Luke out from pressing something too crazy. But Luke wasn't willing to take that bite, so instead, Mike's got to find these things like these Bandit Bringers come through and the tap does RC. Should be able to quickly heal the chunk out enough to uh, take out the gun wielding units just yet. Not quite. Oh, uh, this is a good start for Luke, though. Uh, uh, not gonna take the wall break. Oh, actually, missing the medium 2S, but. No, uh, no punish for Mike, but we're really worried about steady aim. Oh, but expect the far slash. It does come out, but only after he throws out the 6P in, in preparation. Not gonna work yeah. out. Loop down around here. Yeah, Mike was just so willing to be able to hold that pressure reset. Uh, at least, you know, thinking too many layers deep. Mike is still in the first one. There we 
go. Another good pickup from Luke, though. This is what that they're uh, this is what they're looking for. Right, they're trying to just loop the pressure system together, together, again, but they don't have that meter just yet. So Mike can get a good DP. Yeah, nice to see that this time working out into their favor. Gets the gun pickup as well. First is out though. Yeah, it is a little too close. Not gonna get super out, and that's a kind of a big waste of meter for Luke. But he was already so close to the second bar anyway. Not gonna be a huge deal. Spending a lot of it on FD though, and Mike is really chipping away at this meter right now. Yeah, I believe Luke was looking to do it to uh, create that burst state vendor, but unfortunately just didn't get super quickly enough time. And Mike Kari pressing that burst out. Good jump out success though is the big pickup to lead you into that wild throw. Talk to the ground, Mike. Now tying it up. Yeah, oh, out of the oh, out, oh, like oh, out of even after, out of the first set that they played as well. I don't think Mike even used wild throw a single time. Saving saving that saving no. that option for grands. Good stuff. Mike, Mike Mike has been very very. I think he he's only done like I think he did it versus Cinnamon once. But it's yes. not a tool that he brings out heavily, but it is so effective when it comes out. It's always there to close out these rounds exactly. For sure, for sure. All right, one one on the set now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them playing very close games here. It's it's pretty much anyone's game here. I think I think Luke is oh, playing yeah. it very well. Mike is playing it incredibly well. I have I have like no favorite here. Like both of them are playing. Here. Like about as good as you expect. The only favorite I have here is the game of Guilty Gear Stride, because right now that's what these two players are playing to the fullest effect. And Mike's trying to use that SVP as a poke, but instead it got blocked and forced out. Uh, but that doesn't matter when you force Luke's out, and they're already at the figure. Bang. Bang. Sweet. Here we go. The pressure coming through. And get all the resources back, literally completely maxed out. That is a cool punish. I don't, I, yeah, not gonna be able to kill here. But I do like it, just apply the curse at that wall break right? so that you can have it right in this situation and get that 2SHH. The the thing that's been, I think, really like, Luke, like, like Luke's big tool that they've been using, it's such a minor thing, but it leads to so much reward. It's like so many rounds, like so many combo starters. That's, uh, it's just been so good. Go install super as well into the corner. Keep that wall slot up, but that's why you want to break it because the the deep character can do break, uh, burst out of you. All right, great 5k empire. Uh, not gonna do the job for this. We need one more reset. Yeah. What? I tried to bait something there. I don't know if the high jump was intentional, but that's gonna really hurt so much so that it's just gonna kill him. Luke, I'm gonna go yeah. up 2 1 here in this first set. I think, I, so I think Mike was worried about a couple different things. So he was worried about uh, Burst coming up there. So that covered that. Just like reversal Burst, get off me. He was worried about. Um, he was worried about like that 2S once again, which being that high up would allow you to just quick ban it, bring or punish it. And like you had the meter to RC it and get a, get a wall break. And then it was also worried about if you tried to fuzzy jump out of it, because then you'd just be able to react to it in air throw it. So I think what they did was trying to cover uh, a couple different options with that, that jump up right there. But Luke instead like saw the jump happening early on that knockdown and was just like, okay, I'm not going to do anything because then I will actually be able to find the pickup that I'm looking for. Yep. All right. Let's see if Mike's got it. Potentially trying to prevent just a reset here. Does not want Luke to carry all the momentum into the next set. Doesn't want there to even be a next set. So let's see if Mike's got what it takes. Immediately goes in with the bandit bringer, but the counterplay from Luke with the back deck already pretty good. Here we go. Yeah. Now implementing the straight throw into that pressure as well. Oh, miss the Superman punch. So had to spend the extra bullet right there. Uh, it may not seem like a lot, but it's going to force Luke to be able to go for a shot here and then have to go for a longer reload. Just kidding. Dance X Mach, you know. We got those, and we got those rounds. Yeah, that positive bonus. It really does sneak up on you, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, Luke. Starting good. 
wants to finish out the set, wants to take it for a reset. Will it happen now? Will it happen later? Or will it happen at all? It's all for Luke's out of here. Now has Luke in the corner. As you said, Luke, Luke in general, I think throughout all, all of the sets, he's been playing out the corner really well. He, he's been using the universe mechanics pretty well. Just blocks against the characters where it's relevant. A lot of really good attributes. Knowing when to poke, do certain options. The defense is very solid on my Oh yeah, most, most definitely. Like I think Luke is just very comfortable with dealing with a lot of the aggression that some of these players bring on, but Mike has just been, like, you know, he shifts that dial up at uh, random intervals that when you can't even expect from someone else. And that's the big thing that I think means uh, Mike in some more positive situations, but if Luke's ready for it just like that, you can't get uh, away with that for free to find a 6 key in the room. Uh-uh. Yeah, back range tap dust working out with that RC as well. Like, looking to tie this up here, but it really all depends on who can get this hit. Spends the meter, gets the knockdown. This is scary. Potential spell two territory here now. Oh, uh, and the super. Not gonna kill. Positive bonus though. A lot of meter for a lot of meter for Mike though, so he'll be able to empty this out for a little while. And still maintaining a positive bonus of their own as well uh, until it's gone. Oh, Let's see, does it work this time? Ba -ba -da -ba. Nope. He tries to counterplay the clone, catches the back dash with the far slash. Good clutch there from like snap tig. And we are going to game number five. Yeah, yeah. Mike did a like you, you you'll see it on the replay right here. So like Heavy Mob Cemetery came out once again, but with the immediately ready to PRC it, knock that clone out, and try to shut down a lot of Luke's. Um, Defensive pressure that they normally been bringing onto the table has been very, very. Um, uh, it's been very good this whole set, and I think that yes. was a that little was a microcosm of everything that's been happening so far. But Luke can still, as long as okay. like, as long as Luke is able to keep their distance, as long as they're able to keep that pressure up, they have still have a very, very real chance to bring this over to their main set. So, like we've been saying since the beginning, Ooh, since these two wow. players have entered the tournament, really anything is possible here. But I like that the walk back because Luke has been going for too much rounds so many times. Just walk back, get out of it, force them to whip, force them to feel out of their comfort zone, and force oh, them to hold this air throw. Jump up air throw, catching every defensive option from Luke. And, and, and I think my man Mike Saptic has found the answer. I'm just gonna throw you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna group you up because you've been using a lot of FD. You've been doing really well against the strike pressure. It's time to switch it up. Oh my god. And the yep. burst bait, this is not good for Luke whatsoever. This this is this one's looking like a little bit like a blow up right now. No, not the whiff bar slash. It's literally over. That, that was a are you serious? Oh yeah, we're, my. we're we're getting the return to room. We don't even get a C we don't the even ender get the, right there. That was a that okay okay, so we can fit that entire game in I think like less than twenty seconds clip clip, right? Like that was yep. not, that was yeah. not even close yeah. to <laughs> Congratulations to Mike Saftig. A very close set wrapped up in one of the quickest game fives I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> that was, I mean, that was one of the quickest games of the night that we've had on stream. Yes. That last one right there. You just saw like a couple of good throws into a quick RC pickup right there. Yeah, like there's, you know, no, no, only like there's, a, it's a combination of like, Sometimes you get Strive Ground, sometimes you get Soul Ground, and then sometimes you get Safted Ground, but then all three of those happen simultaneously. It's like a very low chance of all of that coordinating at the same time, but uh, 